Sandro <laughs> Takasirimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbejimbej
ตัวนั้นก็ตัวมาเลยปะทศสมบัติจริงๆแล้วตัวนั้นก็ตัวทั้งจะทบสมบัติจริงดีงั้นเนี่ยอันนี้บาซากุรุนดีนตาเด็ก
Vajraguru Mantra, Om Ahum, Vajraguru Pemasadi Hum. And as we uh, discussed previously, the Om Ahum, those three syllables, represent the inseparability of the three Kayas, Dharmakaya, Sambhogakaya, and Nirmanakaya. The Vajraguru um, Mantra, uh, the Vajraguru represents the Lord of all the families, uh, Guru Rinpoche, as the subjugator of all appearances and of all existence. The Padma represents either the eight manifestations of Guru Rinpoche or the twelve manifestations or thirteen manifestations, as well as being uh, the embodiment of the hundred peaceful and wrathful deities, and so on. And so we recite this a mantra, visualizing in the sky in front of us. We can do the concise visualization or the extensive visualization, however we feel uh, we would like to do that. And so with that, we imagine from Guru Mache's uh, forehead or third eye area or from his crown, white light shines out, um, bringing you know, rainbow light as well as various uh, tigles or like small spheres and representations, small representations of Guru Mache issue out from him um, and enter our own uh, forehead or third eye area or through our crown and blesses uh, our uh, body um, as the Vajra body of Guru Mache. From Guru Mache's throat, red light uh, radiates out, um, issuing with it the seed syllables uh, as well as various mantras and dharanis of the Buddhas, the vowels and consonants, etc. Uh, an innumerable amount flow out and enter into our own throat, blessing us with all the cities. Then through Guru, Mache, um, through Guru Mache's heart, blue light radiates out and brings with it all the different uh, implements of the uh, of the Buddhas, for example, Dorjes or Purbas, Norbus, crossed Vajas, etc. And they rain down into our heart uh, like falling rain and bless us with the mind cities or the mind accomplishments. Um, and, and so we think that this has happened and we, we think that I have received the um, the empowerments and the blessings in the cities of Guru Rinpoche and with, from within that we've, we recite the Vajra Guru Mantra and to further ex uh, explain when we are doing the outer supplication we're doing this outwardly we're focused outwardly and now that we're doing the inner recitation um, we're reciting the mantra we've taken in all of the blessings of Guru Rinpoche so we've taken those in, and then from within that visualization, we're reciting the mantra. And so when reciting the mantra, each one of the mantras we, we say, we um, that counts as one on our mala. Yeah. So we have a rosary or we have our mala. For each mantra, we count that as one. And so as we're reciting and accumulating uh, mantras, um, if we need to take a break, it's good to uh, finish one mala. We have this larger bead at the top to to reach there before taking a break, whether we um, need to take a drink of tea or just uh, take a break. Uh, it's good to first finish that one mala. Um, and then while doing the recitation, not to uh, talk or chat or get too distracted, but to focus one pointedly on the visualization is the main uh, goal of this inner recitation uh, phase. And so we ourselves are uh, our own Edom, or we uh, visualize ourselves as Vajrasafa. And with all the uh, Guru Ramachay's blessings entering us, and then we're accumulating mantras, the Vajra. Guru Mantra. And so that's essentially the inner recitation stage. That dinner, I need your body is not that one in the Nimata Bara Ligre. 
Wanglen de la Ani Pandela Mikui Nesi no search one daki nesi to kusum to da is it chingilam no one shit hopar at Kuru Lami Chiwa Omla or Sir Carpote Rangi Chiwa Timba Pumbi Wang or Liki Timajang Lam Jirin Gombala Wan de Wutungu to be covachin to chain Tibi Allah or Sir Marpote Rangi Timber Timba Sami Wang to Nagi Dimajan Lam Tanum Gombala Wan de Wulungu to be covachin to chain Tuki Hula or Sir Mombote, Rangi Ningarate, Pesera, we sit you want to eat you to my jam, Lamtilo Gombala. There was so good to be covered to Larian TV, so come not over Rangi Tabretta, once you want to eat you to my jam, Lamso, but the wrong one you go, not that one at the Lajimba to Nilegua. That did Jimse Kansina, Sigdi, and Guru Bachkuri Rangi soon, the soon did a Pandelam Queen Nationis. That did let Tamboa Nambala, the Casa of Mesam. Ani Jeju Lama Nabaki, the Casa Wash, any Larian, Telapa, Chickipa, Rindu Tang, Tele Jesha, and the Casa Rutanga, the La Naranzo, one region, but need the teacher, Goma, the Jimmy, one Sarnina, Sunna Goma, one, the Sajik Lagora, and then the Digi, Guru Bajakuni, the Sung D, D, Tani Lap, and Tambo, and I'm Santi Goma Soda, Lama Nabaki, Aranzo, the Tap Kerro, the Tone, and in it, the Jinga D, Passage. After reciting or accumulating the Vajraguru Mantra, then uh, each day we will take the four empowerments from Guru Rinpoche. The liturgy states, from the four places of the body of the glorious Guru, light emerges and dissolves into our, into my four places. Blessed by his Vajra, body, speech, mind, and wisdom, I attain the four empowerments. And then it goes on to say, from the Om at the Guru's forehead, White light rays stream forth, dissolving into my own forehead. I obtain the vase empowerment. Physical stains are purified. I am empowered to train in the path of development stage and endowed with the fortune of attaining the fruition of Nirmanakaya. From the awe at the Guru's throat, light, a red light rays stream forth, dissolving into my throat. I obtain the secret empowerment. Verbal stains are purified. I am empowered to train in the path of the Nadis and Pranas and endowed with the fortune of attaining the fruition of Sambhogakaya. From the Hung at the, hearts, uh, at the Guru's heart center, blue light rays stream forth, dissolving into my own heart center. I attain the uh, Prajnigyana empowerment. Mental stains are purified. I am empowered to train in the path of Bindu and endowed with the fortune of attaining the fruition of Dharma. Uh, Dharmakaya. Then from the Sri at the Guru's navel, multicolored light rays stream forth, dissolving into my navel. I attain the fourth empowerment. Wisdom stains are purified. I am empowered to train in the path of the great perfection and in, uh, endowed with the fortune of attaining the fruition of Svam Svabhavagakaya. The first four lines are Guru Mache's own words, and they're quite concise. So, for the benefit of beginners, past masters have elaborated on these four lines, and so that's what we see below. It's not as if we are receiving two sets of, of four empowerments. Rather, to clarify and to elaborate on Guru Mache's concise words, we have a more full explanation below. Hm Ani ku si ku ngai ye ini karena tiga tang ni tu ye ni orang saya ni apa tila sem korang si tak tiga orang berubah orang cungi si ti ti korang si korang la suka tila tapi si kita orang selar eh kerana si korang la sanje ku sun tu ki eh tapi yang dia ni mana anti kalau orang kerja korang ni yang tak top top doa macam pesa sana dead doa je lah pesa sana mana di sana mai di toy itu kerja kerja apa orang korang di sana mana doa juta macam macam dia korang lah sini orang doa so what is empowerment? What is an empowerment? What's the purpose of the empowerments? 
So there are three kinds of empowerment. There's the ground empowerment, path empowerment, and fruition empowerment. As for the first, the ground empowerment, from the very beginning, all, all sentient beings have had within their mind streams this ground empowerment. And this ground empowerment is the very nature of the mind, which is Buddha nature. Uh, or we can say the spontaneously present primordial wisdom of awareness. This nature has always been none other than the nature of the enlightened body, speech, and mind of all the Buddhas. Or we could say that is the nature of the four kayas, the five kayas, and so on. So as the ground empowerment is Buddha nature itself, uh, it is this spontaneously present primordial wisdom or awareness uh, as, as, as the very ground of the nature of mind. For example, if in the ground of our being the complete qualities of Buddhahood were not already present, were not there uh, innately, no matter how many empowerments we would receive, those qualities would never be able to become obvious, to manifest. So for example, uh, rice will only produce more rice. No matter what you do, no matter how many empowerments you give rice, it won't produce peas or barley because the nature of rice is rice. So all beings, all sentient beings as, the, as, as their very nature their ground. Uh, this awareness is the nature of the Buddha's body, speech, and mind. And so this represents the ground empowerment. Hmm. That dig is a lot of lumpy one, says it. She corangi, some jacoran in there, Sanjay with Ranshi, Hinayan, that in a round zogi, and take you wangi, that in Jim Mami, Mamina, Pesas and Dread, which is Chashawana. Dekuran, Judy, Mata Partu, Devichata Pro Mezan, Sumjatam Jagi Shiti, the worship in Yuboyena, Yena, Tela, Wangi, Ji, Mimbar, Machana, and in Debuji, Yonta, maybe Kistana, Tangaranzo, Lamji Wang, the issue for it. Ta Lam Kurangla and Ya Wang Shimba Nisha, Lam Kurangla. Oh, Lam Kurangla and Ya Shitan, Lam Nisha, and the Gadu, Lam Kurangi, Shiki, Wang Di, Tambo, Lama Senidan, Temba Chiki, Dane, and Wang Shi. La sopa candar, tortina, wang rimba mumboji are the dortina, wang shinan and do togre. On that tea shinny, rang it ginti means are it. Giti means a vegetala, ta lamki tanta tea cup to carriage asana, lam corangi, lamki, lamti charo, lamki lamti. Ta ting yama lamaki, tambaki, dinner, top yogi, wang di, and a corner condu ya, penea dung, and a ticket partala, tamzi, yamjala sova, ta tamje, and a sova kisena. Naranzo, Digi, Lamji Wang Ti, Langore. Oh, that the Tambo is she corangi, Lamji Shidi, Nzi Mijigi, and it's tangent and damba, Lama Chigin, Dongla, Chini, Wang Sugurwa. In a Lam Korangi, Lam Di, then it is Mijin Lama Chigin, Dongla Pachini, Wang Sugurwa, Rangi, and it called Dunla, and it in Lamla Sopa, Lama La Sopa, Gondi Rantoki Tony, and Wang Lianjukri. Next is the uh, path empowerment. So even though all beings have as their nature the ground empowerment, if those beings do not receive the path empowerment, the ground empowerment will not ripen, will not become manifest, will not become obvious. Just like a grain of rice um, if, if that seed is not planted, it will not give rise to a rice plant. So and in the same way, even though sentient beings have as their nature, the Buddha nature, if they are not, if the mind streams of beings are not ripened by the path empowerment, there is no way for that fruition to manifest. Therefore, the path empowerment is uh, crucial, very necessary. So the path empowerment itself has two empowerments, the ground path empowerment and the path path empowerment. The ground uh, 
The ground path empowerment is the empowerment given by a qualified master, a qualified lama, um, along with all the various procedures and rituals uh, needed to bestow that empowerment. And within this ground path empowerment are four empowerments, which can summarize all the various rituals necessary to bestow the ground path empowerment. And so afterwards, once the student is ripened through this ground path empowerment, there is the path path empowerment. Having been ripened by the ground path empowerment, one actually practices what has been given there. One engages on the path having received that ground path empowerment. And one practices this daily and maintains the respective Samaya commitments uh, for that particular empowerment given by the master. So this is the path path empowerment. So for the ground path empowerment, one has to receive that from a qualified master. But once that has been done, the path path empowerment can be done oneself. One does not need to be um, in the presence of a <coughs> master to practice the path path empowerment. Mm -hmm. Ani <laughs> Nagi <laughs> so the path path empowerment is what we're doing here in receiving the four empowerments from Guru Rinpoche. So if we're visualizing the extensive mandala and during the Guru Yoga, all the surrounding deities would then dissolve into Guru Rinpoche. If one is doing the concise uh, visualization for Guru Rinpoche during the Guru Yoga, there's no need to dissolve because it's still, it's just Guru Rinpoche. And so from <coughs> Guru Rinpoche's forehead uh, is the syllable Om, and white light radiates out 
enters our crown and we are bestowed the vase empowerment with that all of our physical misdeeds mis misdeeds done through the body for example killing stealing etc are all purified and with that we are empowered to practice the development stage practices which involve visualizing the deity etc and the result is that we imagine that we have attained their nomonikaya next from the throat of guru Rinpoche is um, the syllable ah and red light radiates out and enters our throat and we receive the secret empowerment with that all of our misdeeds of speech lying gossiping harsh speech etc are all purified and we are empowered to practice the um, ta lung or the winds and channels practices and with that we uh, attain the result of sambhogakaya next through the from the lama's heart center is a blue hung and blue light radiates out and enters our own heart and we receive the wisdom knowledge empowerment all of the misdeeds of mind including wrong view envy ill will etc are purified and we are endowed with the permission to practice the tigle practices or the bindu practices these involve um, practices of anu yoga that are detailed in the three inner tantras essentially where the practice of winds channels and bindus has the power to give rise to spontaneous wisdom as empty bliss and the result is the attainment of dharmakaya Hm, Inaya, ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
and the same way we are dissolving the obscurations that obscure that wisdom which is essentially pure we can also think that the obscurations of all uh, of the body, speech, and mind are all being purified simultaneously. Through this empowerment, we are endowed with the uh, permission to practice the Dzogchen teachings and attain the result of Monikiku or the Svabhavikaya or the essence body, which is essentially the indivisibility of the three Kayas. The nature of all phenomena is emptiness as the ground, which is the Dharmakaya, and the unceasing radiance of that Dharmakaya is the Sambhogakaya, and all various appearances are the Nirmanakaya. Essentially, these three are indivisible, in the same way that fire and heat are indivisible, or water and moisture are indivisible. Mm. Tati Tadi Karera Sina Lama Dangarang Rang Raniki Laria Megi Tungwachi Suktapochi Sevaki Tenji Lama Ujin Shimuguru Jumba Chetni and Shan Zumbata Sevaki Jeva Chimboki Kone Hutu Shu Heki Rangina Shu Hutu Shuni Rangla Yarangla Tutemni Rangyan Kinshi Majibis Mala in Zimbata Namda to the Chichiku Sina Kinshi Sem Korangi Nelu Kalim Batila Rambala Pa Shala Tati Dordina Lama Hudushini Ranila Timni Chula Chusha Patad Lamiki Tukdang Ransem Yermetu Nangita Yunala Pa Shaire. Ta Lama Ranla Timni Ranse Yermetu Shalag the Ramad Lana Nala Tim to the Ne Chiki Nala Ne Chiki Nala Na Chala Chikpa Luxa Mayimba. Kuran Lamiki Rangi Rikpa Ranjungi Yishi Chichuku Yina Rang Ripa Ranjungi Yishi Kutidan Lamigi took number of Mutopi, Yishiti, Nelu Kurangi Mola, Mo Yerme, Sange Meba, Nelu Kurangola, Sange, Yua Mebala, Yua Meba Tatu Pai, Shak Rabando, Tendu, Anni Lama Chigdan, Sosu Nijima Nisini, Anni Pachala Ni, two day Shak Bamba, Tendu Mo, Yerme Imbala, Yemetato, Diving on a Pai, Shabati, Anni D. Sama Leger to Suj Lami Lami Lama Tubas Shagroa. So we've gone through the outer supplication and the inner uh, recitation of the mantra along with the rec receiving the empowerments. And now we're to the secret uh, stage of the Guru practice. The text states, Secretly, to practice the true Guru Yoga of simplicity in the manner of activity application. The liturgy states, uh, the great master of Odiyana with great joy dissolves into me. In the state of the unfabricated all ground, my mind free from fixation is the pure Dhammakaya devoid of constructs. So here, with strong devotion, we visualize that Guru Mache with a smiling face and with great, de uh, great delight dissolves into light and then dissolves into us. Then in the state of the unfabricated all ground, my mind free from fixation is the pure Dhammakaya devoid of constructs. So whatever the nature of the all ground, or in this case, the nature of the mind is, we rest directly within that. In brief, Guru Mache dissolves into light and dissolves into us like water into water, where the Guru's wisdom mind and my own mind, our own mind, mingle inseparably. And within that, we rest for some time. And when we say that the Lama, or the Guru Mache, the Master, dissolves into us, it's not like we imagine that some kind of object is put into a vessel or a bag. Rather, the spontaneously present primordial wisdom, awareness of the Guru, which is the Dharmakaya, the non-conceptual wisdom mind, 
the wisdom of the Guru is beyond all divisions of good or bad, positive or negative, and it is within this wisdom that we rest inseparably. ตัดดิบจุดดาวดีถ้าเปชะชนะงารังโซโชกาโดจิเชชนะอันนี้นําก็เปชะชิเปซังมารอยาตัดเสร็จแล้วสรวัตติจิบันนี้โชกาเปซ
ပြတ်တဲ့နာရှင်ကြီးစမ်တလာကြီးငိနှောင်းပါရှာခွတ်နောင်းမောင်းပွဲကြီးတာစမ်တလာကောက်တုမောင်းပွဲကြီးတာန
ตั้งอารังตัวมาเนี่ยลุยนําจอสตาตั้งอารังตัวจินตุตะเฉิดชิกตัวจีนะเนี่ยลุยนําจอติละมาเนี่ยลุยกับตัวอันนี้อารังต
Kunam Kongoresi Lagia Marcans, no Susu Kana Tepache, Rangi, Nam Kari, Susu Ningala, and Obama Gumnan ticket, Sanjay Jim Den Gumnan ticket, Jujun Jama Gumnan ticket, Tak Sudan Su Sanjay Jim Den Susu Kandan Kang, Dikiranshi Rangi, and Ningala, Gomni Tikanla, and Rang Ma Niku Raya, Niku Kasiang, Namto, Shenji, Yang Tunto Wang to Chenaya, Lan Yadian, and Sam Dani, Kasi Tintaji Nangla, Nyadan Rimbang, Kashi Shisunga. Ningala, Lama Gomni, Hindam Gomni, Yadan Chigdan, Chigdan, and Sem Changusumla, Loshan, Yadan Chigdan. Yamana Chua Bedapara, Loshan, Panyadanti, Tekangan Kasanaya, Dingana Kera, Niku Sonwaina, Sani Nima Sepper, Nid Tumje, Gyawagi Lamla Chatogre, Om, Semu Niku Tigabduya, and it's so sad to Jan Chatogre, Tedeshadan, and Yawiki Namjoti, Gilu Tedeshi, and Lawinum Tigabduya, Tajikon de Shiva Naji Tedeshi, Balan. When we're doing the sleeping meditation, we can use whatever idam we want, whatever idam we have faith in. It doesn't have to be Guru Rinpoche, it can be the Buddha, Tara, whoever you have faith in. And in it, rather than meditating with, uh, with the hiram in your heart, you can also go to sleep with the mind of bodhicitta. That's also fine. Or contemplating impermanence. Whatever one has interest in doing. It's through this practice that the mind becomes virtuous throughout the entirety of sleep. So the entire sleep process becomes virtuous. And one is in accumulating virtue based on just sleeping. And so after uh, one wakes up, uh, one can, as we discussed, do whatever practice um, one is inclined to do. And this concludes uh, this teaching. Go